Hey mates, I'm Alex. And I'm Gaston. Welcome to PowerMate. This is a place to learn and share about Fabric and Power Platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Yeah, uh, today we are diving into something really exciting. The new Copilot Answer Control in Power Apps Canvas app. Yeah, that's right, Alex. It, this is going to be a game changer for Canvas app creators. And, uh, you know, it allows you to set predefined questions that users can click and get AI-generated answer instantly. Yeah, and, you know, it's it's powered by the Microsoft o Copilot, of course. So, you know, uh, the answers are going to be uh, smart and relevant. So it's perfect for, for example, for mobile users. Uh, who need quick response on the go. So yeah, this is really interesting. It's really a game changer. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's show how how it works. First, uh, one consideration that we've been talking in different videos. Remember that you need to go to the admin and needs to enable this feature in the Power Platform Admin Center. Yeah, yeah, you're right, uh, Gaston, and also in the Power Apps too. So let me share my screen here, and so we can start showing what is going to happen here. So as you can see here, I'm in the in the app studio. I'm already, of course, I create a, um, a power app. So I have already created sample power apps. Uh, if you remember a couple of videos, uh, I don't know, maybe five videos back or so, we uh, talk about the copilot control for the Canvas app where you can start asking questions about your data in the Dataverse, a Dataverse table. So now we are going to use another Copilot control that the name is the answer control. Let's type here answer. Copilot answer, as you can see here, Copilot answer. It's still on preview, so you can drag and drop here, double click and you can start working with the control. Uh, first of all, I want to show you, if you can see the control on your, on your, or your control here, you need to check on the settings here, you know, settings here on the top, click on settings, then came to uh, uncoming features. And then in the uncoming feature, you can check like Copilot, for example. So, you know, you need to come here, Copilot Answer Component, and turn on the feature. Okay, so after you turn on the feature, you just reload the application. This is something important. If you don't reload the application, you are going to try, try, and try, and nothing is going to happen. So you need to reload the application, reload the browser, click on the refresh or F5 or Control R, whatever you want, but you need to refresh the app. If not, you are going to you are not going to see the control. I've been there before with Power BI, and you need to restart the application in Power exactly. BI. So I know how it goes. Exactly, pretty much the same behavior for, for the application. So yeah. So okay, this is the control, and the intention of this control is to predefine a prompt. So the user, when the user, uh came to this page or let's let's pretend that this is like the home page for our application the user can see automatically a response you know something that copilot generate for him or we can also define okay if the user wants for the information the user can click on that generate button so let's check here on the left side of my application here this is the this is the configuration page for the control here. As you can see here, we have data sources. So we are we need to select which table we want to uh, index and which table we want to extract information and allow the copilot to query that. The fields, we can also define in which fields or columns we can extract information. Let's say that we have 10 different columns, but we only want to extract information for name, uh, address and telephone number. I don't know why, but maybe it's something that you need. So you can define which columns take. Then the title, the title is the title of the control that you can say this, 
by default say summary, but you can say, I don't know, revenue or average or depends what, what you need. And then of course, the question for Copilot. The question for Copilot, it's the prompt. So here in this field, question for Copilot, you need to define the prompt. This case by default is summarize records, but could be list me the top three with the, uh, I don't know, with the big revenue or the one located in California. That depends what you're looking for. You can define your prompt. So let's start with the default one is summarize records. So, and let's click on the control and let's select our data source. Our data source, we're going to select the same. Let's select the same table that we have here so we can check the information. Let's select account. And then let's test it. Click. Uh, let's see what happened. OK, this is summary. There are 10 records in the data set. The latest record creation was like, no, because he couldn't find the info. And that's right, because if you check here, we have like, uh, you know, we have 10 records. That's right. So that's pretty much OK. So let's start changing the prompt here. So let's say that we want to uh, give, I don't know, let's say I have a problem here for the revenue. That is, give me the average annual revenue for the account in Redmond. So let's do that again. Let's play the app. And let's select again here. And let's see what happens. The average annual revenue for the account in Redmond is 56,666. And also, we can uh, validate that we have like three accounts in Redmond and 110, 60, and one and uh, one and 100,000. So, if we calculate that on the fly, it's around 50 something. <laughs> so, it's okay. And same thing if you and, and then the last point I, I want to show here is. We can start and we, we can continue. Uh, let me put here. We can continue editing the prompt. Let's say list the account with the revenue less than 20,000. And this is going to let's test that one as a last one. For example, here list the account with the revenue less than 20,000. So let's see what happened. Generating output. So there are three account revenue less than 20 tons and some are blue, yonder, and Los Angeles with primary contact and give, give you a resume or which account. And if you check, there's effectively three. Uh, there's the these ones, one, two, three. So that's okay and give you the resume. So that's awesome. So you can start working with the prompts. And, but the, the, the other option we have here is, as you can see here, we have show answer. And we have after sending. This what it means is that the result is going to be showing when you click on the arrow here to give a result. But you also can check here and select immediately. So what that means if once the user opens the application, you are going to have here the result automatically on the screen. We don't need to click on generate the output is going to uh, automatically generate the output. That is what is happening right now. You know, the same result because I, I maintain the same uh, prompt, but you can now, you don't need the user, don't need to do anything. Is going just need to click on the summary and see the result. So different options uh, that we can use multiple, multiple uses to the, this control. Imagine you can have like four or five different one here with different titles just to give you the overview to the user. So the user wants to see different information that can uh, use this copilot. Of course, we also are going to have the copilot here on the right side. So the user can start asking other questions directly to copilot. Yeah, that is great, Alex. I, I, I really feel that end user, they're going to be falling in love with this feature. You know, they, they can regenerate responses and even provide feedback on the quality of the answer. So that this is Pretty great feature. Yeah, yeah, and and 
I think it's, it's all about making the data inside accessible through natural language conversation on some point. So this is just the, the beginning of the AI integration into Power Apps. Yeah, I can't wait to see how much you can create with this new control, you know, uh, be sure for all our Power Mates family here to you know, start sharing your experience and feedback. Yeah. Okay, Power Mate, that's all for today's video. As Gaston said, leave some of your comments, like the video, and if you want us to continue showcasing featuring and coming videos, let you let us know. Yeah, stay tuned for more in-depth insights, tutorials, and exciting news. Where? Here, in our channel. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and join us on this journey. Together, let's unlock the full potential on Power Platform and Microsoft Fabric. Yeah.